Compromised after an attempt to fix a sinkhole in Asheville. Now here's a look at the sinkhole. It began forming along Merriman Avenue just last month. Now because it's on private property, it's the property's owner's responsibility to fix it. They then worked with engineers and decided on a bypass pipe in order to save the structure of the building while they worked on a more permanent solution. However, the temporary fix had unintended results. The move ended up washing material into nearby wetlands and a bird sanctuary. The Alicia Mitchell Audubon Society tells us the material from the sinkhole has completely compromised how the wetland functions. Until the pipes are replaced, the flow of material will probably continue, eventually reaching Beaver Lake. Now we talked with someone who lives nearby about that damage. Really, you know, part of nature that is joyful for all of us. You know, it provides us with a song and it provides us with, with so many other things in our lives. So we really want to maintain that. And unfortunately, we're doing some things that apparently our earth is not liking too much. And um, I don't know whether we can impact it in a better way that will make it more sustainable for all of us, including the nature. We received this statement from the bird sanctuary about the damage. They say in part, quote, the Alicia Mitchell Audubon Society is distressed about the severe damage to the ecofilter wetland in our Beaver Lake bird sanctuary. This wetland, which is established with funding from the North Carolina Clean Water Management Trust Fund, is designed to protect the water quality of Beaver Lake and waterways downstream, including the French Broad River. The North Carolina Department of Environmental Quality issued a notice of violation to the property owner where that sinkhole is located. They have worked with the engineer to get a plan moving to fix it as quickly as possible. 